Hello, everyone. Welcome to Weigh In Wednesday. This is going to be week five of tracking uh, my weight loss. So this week, yeah, rather, excuse me. Uh, this week was actually a pretty good week. I'm actually a little bit surprised with how the results came out. Um, Activity-wise, it wasn't anything to write home about. Um, I did my usual one-hour walk on Saturday to go to the grocery store. So it's half hour there, half hour back, and then I carry some stuff on the way back. But I've been doing that for a while, so I think I'm probably kind of used to it. I also walk to and from work every day, but I've been doing that for a couple years, even when I was much heavier. So I think I'm kind of used to that as well. So nothing extraordinary with activity. I didn't, you know, break new ground there. Food, I did actually a little bit better. I kind of was looking at the losses I had for the last couple weeks and how I was eating uh, during that time and looked at my diet and what it was and I upped my fluids actually quite a bit. I tend to have, live on like Diet Coke and coffee um, when I'm in the middle of the, the fast when I'm not actually eating for that eight hours. Um, and I, I'm not a big fan of water. It just, I, it, I used to do that thing where you drink a glass before you eat anything. Yeah, that's comfortable, putting food down on a big, you know, ocean of water in your stomach. I don't think so. Not for me. So, um, yeah, that wasn't really, <laughs> didn't really sit very well. So I increased some other um, parts of my diet that were much, much more helpful in helping me feel full and, um, and that. So I upped my vegetable intake. I had pretty much been living off of fruit and meat and like skim dairy and some whole grain like pasta and bread and stuff like that. And I like vegetables. I don't know why I got out of the habit of eating them, but there were some pretty good sales this week. Um, those little like frozen boxed green giant things, they were 10 for 10, which I don't know where you live, but the area I live, they're usually like a buck 50 something. So that was a good sale and got a bag of Dole salad for free because I got a coupon from, I forget where. So I had salad in the house and picked up some a couple different fruits just to at least mix it up. So I had some better real food in the house rather than eating, I was eating some processed stuff that was calorie counted, but it was still processed. So, um, so on the food end of things, that was good. I did some extra cooking too. I made some hamburger helper-ish type thing from scratch and I used uh, stuff that I had in the house, whole wheat pasta, ground chicken. Um, so that was pretty healthy and I portioned it. I made a big pot of bean soup, um, probably a couple quarts of it, and put that into the freezer. And then Mark brought soup home, uh, kale, sausage, and potatoes. So I can have like a medley at any time I want. And it's good soup time of year here. It's chilly, it's cold at night. So I'm looking forward to that as well. And from the ones I made, I know what went into it. I know the quality of the ingredients. And the ones from the restaurant, I can I can guesstimate, you know, based on some other recipe I'll get from somewhere. I'll go to, like, Olive Garden's website if I need to feel like I need to know. But, I mean, it's soup. How bad could it be? So, there was that. And it's glasses time of day. It's definitely glasses time of day. Uh, Non-scale victories which were very good. Um, I actually found that my stomach, now that I'm losing weight, it's, it's starting to fall. It's not going back, but it's not falling as much as I thought it would. It's kind of shrinking back a little bit, actually. So that's, that's surprising. We'll see how long that continues. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Um, in reality, I, I don't think in the long run it's going to shrink back, but you know, who's to say? I've been, I've been surprised before. So we'll see. Um, let's see. Oh, I wore my favorite sweatshirt and I didn't have to suck in my stomach all day. That was a nice treat too. Cause that gets really exhausting. You spend so much more time holding your breath than you think you do when you're trying to suck in your stomach all day. So total when I got on the scale last week I was 223 and today I got on and I was 220 even. So hope the teens 
hopefully, are on their way up. I this I weigh less now than I did when I was 14 years old. So if that gives you any indication of an obese uh, childhood, um, maybe I'll put it in perspective for you. And I was probably like three or four inches shorter at the time. I'm six feet even uh, in height. At the time, I was probably 5'9 or 5'8 and about 260. So, yeah. Did I mention kids are mean? Yeah. When you're overweight, effeminate, and not very good at sports, kids can be kind of mean. <laughs> and they were. So, so that was the way in. That's how things went. Um, happy with the results. I'm still good with the pace that it's going at. Um, starting weight, again, was 272. Um, I'm at 220, so I broke the 50-pound mark, and I'm at 52 pounds right now. Lost. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes. Um, I'm waiting for that time when the weight loss will slow down, because it will. Um, and it might not have anything to do with what I'm eating or my activity level. It just, it just slows. I've had this happen before, whether I've been on semi-healthy diets or whether I've just been, you know, straight disordered. Um, either way, there's been plateaus that hit at certain weights. So I'm prepared for those. Um, you know, this is a journey. It's not a, a sprint and then I'm thin and then life goes on. You know, this is part of my life at the moment. So so that's okay. Um, so that's it. Hopefully I will catch y'all next week. I'll probably shoot out another video sometime this week. Not sure on what and not sure when, but stay tuned and you will see.